Hi everybody, welcome to another week of globalization since 1945. Um, John Monroe with you once again to do a short introduction uh, to our week on literature. So um, while I have a walk along the canal, you can see here I'm making my way towards the city center, which is down there. Um, okay, so I just wanted to say a few words to introduce um, the texts, two texts this week. You have a choice um, between uh, Bernadine Evaristo's Girl, Woman, Other and Johnny Pitts's Afropean. So um, two quite different kinds of, um, neither of them, you know, um, obviously neither of them are uh, traditional history monographs. So our way of situating those amid historiography is going to be different um, to the extent that we're able to do that. So that'll be interesting in and of itself. Um, both of the, of the kinds of writing um, that the two books offer are different from each other as well. So in Pitts's case, we have uh, travel writing um, and also quite importantly, photography. So there's a real visual element um, to that book as well. And then um, in Evaristo's book, we have uh, a novel um, which has really innovative uh, sort of way of, of conducting its narrative, weaving together multiple uh, characters and their stories um, sort of connected by a night at the theater. So, um, so what I want to do um, with these books is, with, um, with Pitts's book, I want, to, um, I want us to think a little bit about the term Afropean, what it means, how it's different than hyphenated types of identities um, that we might want to think about, what it means for the relationship between the continents of Europe and Africa, um, what it means for the identity, I mean, it's situated in Europe, so what it means for the identity of Europe, uh, and European people, um, who's European, who isn't, who influences Europe, who makes European culture, many, many questions um, through this book. So we also might want to think about um, the ways in, in Pitts's work, how it's a solo trip, he's traveling on his own, but he's also uh, clearly in dialogue with other people, um, mentors, Carol Phillips, uh, other great authors, uh, now deceased, uh, James Baldwin, for example. So we might want to think about, we might want to think about, uh, his, his style of, of doing this trip on his own, um, but being in dialogue with various other intellectual and literary figures, as well as, of course, the people he, he meets along the way. Um, and then also with that book, we might want to think in terms of a connection of themes um, to what we've looked at before, we might want to think about um, as he travels to places like Brussels, Moscow, Lisbon, how themes of uh, certainly colonialism, uh, which we looked at in our activism week and, and has been and has been and will be a theme in all of the weeks that I'll be meeting with you in different ways. Uh, and of course, also the Cold War, particularly in the Moscow section. And we can think about the relationship between colonialism and the Cold War, as we did uh, before um, in our week more formally on the Cold War itself. And with Girl, Woman, Other, um, you know, we want to think about what it means here to put, as we've looked at with other works, um, reimagining liberation comes to mind here. If we want to think about other works that have put women of color at the center, um, the great um, literary critic and kind of literary historian Mary Helen Washington um, in the context of American studies once posed the question what does what does it mean to put African-American studies at the center of American studies and so we might want to think here what does it mean to put the experience of women of color um, at the center of an analysis of what this whole module is about uh, globalization um, since 1945 and this book um, uh, Evaristo is covering, you know, it's, it's historical. As you, as you see the backstories of the character, it's also, of course, a kind of backstory of the history of Britain very much in, in a global context. So we'll think about that. Two last points. Um, I also want us to think primarily, I think the, the biggest reason why I wanted to have uh, a week on literature is because I want us to think about literature as a kind of lens. What do these two very different kinds of literary works do in terms of getting us mm, at our subject, getting us a kind of different mode of, of understanding um, of the history of the world since World War II. 
and then looking ahead um, to our week on film, which obviously there's kind of a connection here because with film, similarly, we're going to want to think about what film does in terms of in terms of deepening our historical understanding in ways that conventional works of history uh, cannot. Um, we're going to want to think about colonialism in film, thinking here, uh, connecting here as we're thinking about colonialism in literature, and also thinking about intersectionality. Um, and I think with both books, maybe most, maybe most obviously in Girl, Woman, Other, I mean the term is, is directly uh, talked about in there as well. And we'll be talking about that in relation, uh, about intersectionality in relation to uh, to history in our in our film week too. So so let's br maybe bring some of those ideas into the conversation But as usual in this module, uh, I'm mostly interested in what you're gonna bring to the conversation and what you're gonna gonna want to talk about so um, with that uh, Welcome to this week on literature, and I'll see you in class <laughs>